He has a shorts and short sleeve and flip flop. You might think that it's like 80 degrees out and it's only like 50 degrees or 60 degrees out. It is Sunday morning. We are getting ready for church. Who likes onions and peppers in their omelet? Oh yeah. I don't buy bagged, already bagged onions and peppers like you can because I want it to be organic, right, Cohen? Organic. 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 So what I do is I buy whole or onions, whole peppers, chop them up, freeze them on a tray, and then take them off the tray and bag them up. Right? What are we doing this afternoon? Uh, eating hoagies, that's all I know. Oh, and editing, I gotta edit. Finish editing another vlog, and then we'll be caught up. And then we're going to Mom Mom's tonight. I know, surprise, surprise. We're going to Mom Mom's on Sunday night. I know that comes as a surprise to you guys. So we're going there for dinner. She's apparently making barbecue chicken. Yum. Can I use A1? It wasn't on barbecue diet. I don't care. And it's Pop Up's birthday today. You better make sure you have a card ready. You make sure you have a card ready for him. I forgot to make You better make sure you sing to him, even though it's not quite. Well, we were supposed to celebrate his birthday tonight because it's his real birthday and have his birthday dinner and birthday celebration. But now it got pushed off till next week because even though we're having the dinner tonight and seeing him, he, my mom wanted him to enjoy his birthday celebration and birthday dinner. And he's like recovering from his surgery, like I had said in a prior vlog. Yeah, so Tati was pointing out that I have a hole right here. And um, so I said, I guess that makes me holy for church today. Boom. That's like one of my dad's jokes. Wait, what did you say? Boom. I don't know how to do that. The actual phrase is boom. Whatever. I can't do it. Leaving for church. Oh, you need your shoe tied? I was running outside and I need to All done. And now we're leaving for church. So we're back from church and we're getting ready to eat hoagies. My mouth is watering, I'm starving, and I feel like I could eat anything in my reach right now. But of course I gotta take care of the baby first. <laughs> Poor baby. That's so sad. So Birdie comes up to me and he goes, Daddy, teach me how to skate. Guys, where are ya? So apparently he wanted me to teach me how to use roller skates. Cohen's using his roller blades. Brody here. Ready here, put his skates on. Oh my. Careful, bud. Yeah, you might need a butt pad or something. Puts on his roller skates and he's like, I want to skate. And Cohen goes, I'll teach you. That'll be interesting. Oh my. You going on the grass? Yeah, I'm teaching you. There goes Cohen. Alright, come on, bud. No, don't go all the way down there. Oh, 
I think Brody over here is gonna need a butt pad. Oh. Spent a little bit more time on the ground than you did actually upright. A butt pad? A butt pad. All right, you ready to get up? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna show them how it's done. <laughs> All right, have at it. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is a few hours later after we taped Kelliana having her meltdown. Having her meltdown. We just decided to put her down for a nap because she just wasn't having it. And now she's eating lunch. Now she's eating lunch all. Well, she was eating lunch all happy. Guess what? Kellyanna's up and daddy's got to put his hat on. Yep. Guess what? Kellyanna's wearing the sweater that I wore when I was little. Yeah, that used to be mommy. Turn it around. Or so I'm told. What are you doing? Turn around. Let's get a good Show look. It. Show mommy, look. Look at how cute. Look at your sweater. Yeah. You're so cute. <laughs> you want to go outside? <laughs> oh, you don't need dassies. You're... In she she calls these she calls these dassies. You know, oh, you don't you don't need your dassies. I you love. Want, you don't want this one. <laughs> done. Now she's done. done. Okay, let's she go. Had her, she had her little fix. Let's go. Hey, isn't that now what Birdie used? Isn't that what Birdie used to do? Have to have his little fix. What? Is it a ninety degrees outside, or even eighty, or even seventy? Why is Talia in a tank shirt and shorts? I don't know. I forgot kids don't feel temperature. No, but didn't Brody used to do that with the passy? Take oh, a little yeah. puff? Brody was like so addicted to him and we tried to break him of it. We had to like just take him all away and hide him. Well, we threw him in a drawer and somehow he found him again and found where we kept him. And so for a while, I think like we didn't know it or he didn't know that we knew. He would actually, he was like so addicted to him that he would actually like sneak, um, having them for like even just a few seconds at a time. It was like, it was almost like a, a cigarette addiction. Like I, I remember one time, so we had we had the, the pacifiers in a drawer um, right around here. And I remember one time, I kind of came around the corner to see what he was doing because I heard him like opening drawers. This is when he was like, I don't know, two or two and a half, three or something like that. And I looked around the corner and I saw him pull the drawer out and he looked around, make sure nobody was around, reached in and got a pacifier and was like, until he saw me, I poked my head around. He actually saw me, and he was like, and he put it back in the drawer and quick closed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that it, it was hilarious. It was like, oh my word, you're like, you have like, it's like a cigarette addiction, but with passies. That's a long time ago, but that was that's pretty much how he was. Yeah. Now Kaliana kind of did the same thing. She demanded the passy, and Daddy gave in and gave it to her. But then she sucked it for like 30 seconds and put it put it away. All right, I just commented to Randy that I think the universe is telling me to work out again or exercise again. This is crazy. Like, cause I woke up today, went to church, and as I was talking to somebody I knew from church, I was asking her if she felt better because she didn't feel good um, a few months back and was asking me questions about Lyme disease. So I was just checking up on her, asking her how she felt, and she was sharing with me that, um, yeah, she has been feeling good since she changed um, you know, a medication she took and also has been working out. She stopped going to the gym for a while and ended up feeling so tired and sluggish and related it to that. And then when she goes to the gym, it gives her energy and is like, you know, makes her feel so good. And she, um, it's like a vicious cycle if you don't go to the gym because you just feel more tired, which creates more tiredness. And so Randy had his, um, head turned at the time, but I could tell he was smiling from ear to ear because he's been trying to tell me this forever now. And he turned around and just smiled a big cheesy smile. I knew he loved that somebody else was telling me this. This is what they're sharing with me. This is from one year ago. I shared a picture of me working out when, and they're saying, it says, Julie, we care about you and the memories you share here. We thought you'd like to look back on this post from one year ago. They are showing me I've only, I only made it to the gym several times last year before I stopped going again. And they're sharing that with me. I'm like, 
What is it with the universe today? You're telling me to work out. Oh my. Fine. I'll try to work out again. Jeez. All right, so how did you feel at church when that lady told me that, huh? Yeah? Yeah, Julie's been feeling tired and sluggish for a while. I think I know the cure for that. He shares with me all about the gym cure, cures everything, and I need to go to the, back to the gym. And then I share with him how eating healthy cures everything, and he should be eating more healthy. Maybe we both need to go exercise and eat healthy. Let's just go to the gym first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, snowball fight with the last little bit of snow we have. See, no other snow anywhere else. This is the last little bit and they're deciding to have a snowball fight with it. And look at my kids, aren't they crazy? She has a tank shirt and shorts on and flip flops. He has a shorts and short sleeve and flip flops. You might think that it's like 80 degrees out and it's only like 50 degrees or 60 degrees out. Hi guys, we're at Mom's. I don't know if I said that yet, but yeah, we're here at Mom's Sunday dinner. And we just got done finishing eating. And oh my word, look at this little girl. She pulled up a chair over to the bar area for Mama because she knows Mama keeps her sweets right here. Okay, well, here's your kikim, but you have to go sit at the table. Take your kikim. There she goes. No, give it to Daddy. Go give it to Daddy. She wasn't okay with it when we said to go give it to daddy because she thought, I'm not eating my ice cream to daddy. But then when we said, go sit in the chair, she was okay with that. <laughs> but what I meant is go hand it to daddy so he could put you in the chair. I guess I gotta word it better next time. So she loves my mom and she loves my mom's sweets on the bar. Yeah, I was just telling, I was just telling the guys that Usually when I come here for dinner, I try to spread it out so that the dinner fills up half my stomach and dessert fills up the other half of my stomach. <laughs> you don't want to waste like, you know, a good 30-40% of your stomach on just regular food when there's desserts here. So half and half is how I try to plan it on Sunday night. I didn't know he was planning things. Oh, sure. See, I don't plan and I just gorge and gorge like my, like eat too much of the dinner and then only have enough room for like this much dessert but I like the didn't I tend to like like dinners more than desserts most of the time not all the time and there's the birthday boy high five high five birthday boy although we're not celebrating his birthday till next week now happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday my daddy happy birthday to you Yep, yeah, I'm not the best singer in the world. I'm not gonna lie. What do you say it was special that happened on your 61st birthday? No, it was 61 degrees. It was 61 degrees today. Oh my, 61st birthday. When he was when he turned 61 years old. It was a nice special. That's that's pretty special. Especially for in February, it's nice. It's a nice day. It's a little too late for the little girls to stay up. She's having some mum mum time. Aww, having some mum mum cuddle some special time. Special mum mum cuddle time. Hi, hi. Hi, I tell ya. Are you sleeping? Yeah, it's about that time. It's about that time to go home. Jeff, when can we expect the first vlog on One Point Jeff to be live? On Point. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the last two Sundays vlogging me. When can I see myself on YouTube? <laughs> Outside of my own channel. Uh, you know, it just, it's just taking a lot longer, you know. I just I ran into some problems and maybe like... And you think I'm behind. No, I'm just <laughs> I know you see my brother in different of our vlogs and he is going to sometime in the future start a vlog so in be, the year in, 2000 so, so be anticipating that year 2020 if you watch conan o'brien you'll know what that reference is from 2020 that's when your vlog goes live <laughs> you're gonna spend four years hyping it yeah think of the buzz on that first video uh, yeah you gotta, you gotta I could be the dead by then get it up <laughs> <laughs> this little guy likes to watch his cartoons but he needs to get his pajamas on don't you mm-hmm all right, let's get going. Get your jammies on. We 
Okay guys, well another Sunday has come and gone and it is time to head on into next week. So I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, we'd really appreciate it. So on that note, I'm going to close it out and say it's been real. Good night, everybody. Take what comes along the way. That's love. Let it grow stronger every day. There's joy. As the days go passing by, there's hope. A better life for you and I. Take our dreams and fly. Together we can try. That's life.